And hello YouTube, this is GS Math Smart, and I'm here today with another brand new GIMP tutorial. In today's GIMP tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to make this color pencil effect on any image. Now, if we look at our um, original image, this is our original image, which is obviously an in-game shot. And we're basically going to be teaching you how to turn this into a color pencil um, effect right here. Obviously, I did crop this image, which is why it's a different size, which you can do also. You can crop the image as well. And yeah. So, it's open up GIMP. I already have GIMP open. And I'm going to be teaching you how to um, transform an actual real house picture into a color pencil. This is what we're going to use. So, first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate your layer two times. So, have three layers of the house open, or whatever your picture is. Um, before I continue, I want to make you aware that you should have this um, patterns docklet open. Now, docklet is basically all these um, different palettes or sections of your GIMP. You want to make sure that you have this patterns docklet open. Now, to open your, th this is a default one, so it should already be there, but it's not there. Or if you removed it, you can always go to uh, Windows, go to Dockables um, dialogs, and here are all of your dock with dialogues and you just click patterns and it should be there so you have this open um, now um, continuing you should have your first layer selected and first thing you want to do is you want to go to uh, filters or go to blur or go to Gaussian blur and this is gonna blur your entire image make sure you have it at 15 click OK as you can see your image does get a little blurred and now we're going to go to our layer mode which is right here and we're going to go to green extract which basically will make it a bring a um, gray layer over it and next we're going to go to layers and we're going to click merge down now you should have two layers here stay on this gray layer here we're going to go to colors we go to the saturate and you want to keep the first one open first one checked lightness and I click OK next what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, colors section now here it gets a little more complicated and click curves now what I'm, what I'm about to do it does not need to be perfect so don't worry about it. It doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to have the exact same values as um, as I do. So first thing you want to move. If you want to do it by coordinates, you can do it by coordinates. I do it by coordinates. I'm gonna move 164, 168. So it doesn't need to be exact, like I said. So that's good right there. 164, 168. You want to move it up to about 136, 254. So, like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect. So right there, and then you want to move um, another piece of your line, which is 72, 156. So we're going to look for 72, 156, which is about here. And we want to move that to... 9443 so right about 9443 that's fine right there so just like that that should be fine and I'm going to click OK next what you want to do is you want to make a new layer click OK and your new layer you want to grab your paper pattern which I believe is this yes so it'll be in your pattern section and it should be this one right here you want to just drop it over and after that you want to um, click this eyeball here to make it disappear. You want to go over here to your layer with this sort of white over it. And you want to go to layer mode and click grain merge. And this will bring out the colors. As you can see, it already looks kind of like it's been drawn and colored. So now we're going to go back to this layer over here. 
and we're going to click layer modes and click overlay as you can see this puts the um the paper makes it it overlays it on the on this layer right here so after that we are going to go to um, curves again colors gonna go to curves and now here you're going to move 189 196 so 189 196 like I said it doesn't need to be perfect um, but you want to get the general I'll just get this right here and you want to move it to 156 to 44 so generally the same place where we had it before 146 to 44 156 to 44 excuse me 156 to 44 should be about right here doesn't be perfect and you're gonna move one more dot it's gonna be 85 158 which is right about here and you want to move that down to 124 29 which is right about here 124 29 right there that's good right there and you can click OK now um, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to um, layers and click new from visible and you want to click filters blur Gaussian blur and put this up to about 20 click OK and change the opacity of this image to 47 and that's it here is your completed drawn um, in color pencil image of your house if we compare this image where is the house here is the house the original image and the drawn image that's it thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope um, I've helped you and you can do this effectively now um, if you like, I have plenty of other video tutorials on GIMP, Adobe After Effects, Audacity, all kinds of software on my channel. I also have um, player tutorials. You may also um, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and press like. I really appreciate it. You can comment for any questions, comment for any uh, feedback. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching. This has been GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.